Good morning, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon Indian River east of Orlando near Cocoa Beach, Daytona, Titusville. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video uh, I've been requested many times on how to change the internal anodes on an outboard. Now this engine is my Yamaha 2006-7 uh, 50 horse uh, four stroke but the anodes pretty much are going to be all the same on you know pretty much any outboard there is you just need to check with your manufacturer look at the specs find out where they're at where they're located they're not hard to do um, sometimes depending on your manufacturer I've heard some people say hey you got to go in and remove the head and a mechanic's got to do it but I'm not paying somebody a hundred dollars to remove four anodes five anodes that takes me two three minutes to do and they cost me about five six bucks each but right here on this particular outboard I've got uh, five of them there's one on each side of the spark plug here and then there's one right down here and basically what you do I think it's a nine millimeter uh, on this particular outboard it is an eight millimeter to remove the uh, where the anodes at underneath there you remove this bolt and this little cover is going to move to the side and then right there the anode is going to be screwed into this bolt so let's see if I can zoom in on this one. So what, the first thing that you want to do is remove the anodes and see what kind of shape they're in. And then I'm going to show you how to clean out the ports and all that. So what I did is I took this cover off. And then this is the anode. And what you're going to do is pull it out if it stays intact. And you're going to unscrew this. And this anode will come right out. Oops, see if I can back it. You're gonna pull that out. Sorry about that. And this anode, you can see the corrosion on it, so it needs to be replaced. And you have a rubber grommet gasket type, and then there's the anode. So basically, this is what it's gonna look like. Oops, see if I can do this here. Sorry, in the sun. So there's the anode. It's threaded on that end. Uh, see for those of you that want to see the part number for this. This is again for a Yamaha, and this probably I would I would be willing to bet that this anode is goes on a lot of outboards. And then here's the gasket. Let's see if I can show you the part number on it. Now the million dollar question is this: a couple of the anodes I pulled out. This top one up here. Let me zoom back in here. This top one right here. This top one and this one, when I went to pull them out a minute ago, they were broke off. And I could see a piece of this one inside there uh, when I looked at it with the flashlight. You probably can't see that, but I looked in there and I could see just a little tip of it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to get in there with the tip of a screwdriver. I've got a wire Dremel brush here on the end of my DeWalt. I'm just going to get in there and clean that up, clean this up as much as I can, knock off the, the corrosion. Just kind of clean it up before I put the new ones in there. And the guy, the mechanic that I talked to at where I get all my parts at said, just try to break it up as much as you can. It should go out the exhaust down there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wire bristle brush. I'm going to clean all these out. Um, just knock it off. I've also got my compressor hooked up here. I'm going to get in there and just you know, knock some of this stuff out and see if we can't uh, just clean it up a little bit. So what I'll do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to remove the rest of these. Like I said, there's five of them on this particular outboard. Um, I'm going to remove them and then I'll show you the next step on how to put them back in there. But this is really easy to do. This is something that you can do on your own. Okay, I did want to show you a little tip while we were doing this. Uh, a minute ago when I showed you the cap and the cover that there was a piece of the anode broken off the top part right there. Um, this piece, and the, let me take this out of the case here real quick. I'll show you. This top piece right here that screws into the anode was broke off. And if it gets stubborn, what I did is I took a, you just find a thread, a, a threaded like a stainless steel or something that gets close to it, come in from this way, it goes into it, then I tapped it just a couple times with the top of the screwdriver, believe it or not, and that's the piece that was broken off right there. So, you know, as you pull each one off, if they're stubborn or whatever, just, you know, kind of take your time and just let uh, your thought process uh, <laughs> figure it out there. So let me get back. I'm cleaning out these two. I'm going to remove these two. This one down here is really clean. And uh, we'll go from there. 
Okay, I figured I'd do this live on the camera, so this way you can see, you know, even what happens if, if something bad happens. All right, I took the bolt out. This is the bottom one. The top two we just did. This is the next one. I took out the bolt that's holding it in there. I'm just going to try to grab this. Just grab it with some needle nose. See? It's okay. See how it broke off there? Which, you're kind of... They told me that would happen, so you got a couple choices. I can try to put a drill bit in there and pull it out, but pretty much every one of these two I did, it just breaks and shatters, so it looks like it's going to go down in there. So let me finagle that out of there, and we'll go to that last one down there, and we'll show you how to put these new ones in there. Okay, so what I did is instead of pushing it in there and breaking it off, what I did is uh, I just took a, a drill bit, I mean a drill bit, a uh, stainless steel screw right here and I just tapped it into the rubber because I knew and I just put it in there a couple you know millimeters whatever and then I just grabbed it with the needle nose pliers and it came out so basically that was in here like this and I just took my drill and just tapped this screw in there just very softly I mean and once it was in there I was able just to grab it and the, it came out. So you can see it's pretty well corroded. Um, these were definitely needed changed. So one more. And what I'll do is I'll show you. Now this one down here is going to require a tool. So what I'll do is let me get this last one out and let's go ahead and put these new ones in here. Okay, I went ahead and put these two bottom ones in. No sense in you showing you that because they're all going to be the same. Just make sure if you did remove any of your spark plug wires, you put them back. So now we got these three left right here. I just wanted to show you from a start to finish uh, how you're supposed to do this. So what you do is just take the, the cap, put your um, anode in there. Now, before you put the screw in the top of the anode right there, I like to just touch... Just a little bit, not much, just a little teeny, teeny bit of marine grease. And I think I've showed you this in other videos. This will just help, <clears throat> excuse me, this will just help the future. The next time you go do this, um, from them season up or whatever, you could use the uh, corrosion block, um, but that's more for electronics and, you know, the, the Yamaha Marine, the Yamaha Lube Marine Grease uh, works just fine. Then just tighten that on there. Um, like I said, on this particular model, what is that, 8 millimeter? Um, it's a Japanese, so everything's going to be metric. Just tighten that just a little bit. Don't crank it down because that's just holding the anode. That's not what's going to. Now, the rubber grommet here, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of like a dome shape. Let's see if I can hold that steady enough. It's flat on one side and it's kind of round on flat on the. It's kind of. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it's kind of like a curved upward. The flat part's going to go on first. So push the flat part down. goes into right about there. Now you could do this a couple different ways. You could go ahead and just put this in here. Let's see. Just put that in there like that. And it's just going to slide, push it in pretty good. Since it's a new grommet, it's going to be a tight fit. Just line up the hole to it. A little bit of marine grease on the end of this one right here right and that's going to go on there and that's going to slide onto there and then let me grab the socket and if I'm not mistaken that's a 10 millimeter right here if I can get this on here it's hard to see it I'm blocking the camera okay so just you know once it gets going And just tighten it on there a little bit. Once it gets going, you know, just move your cover up to there. It should go on there pretty good. Might be stubborn, but the key is, I've said this numerous times, don't force it. You tighten it down too much and it cracks this metal right here, you'll be going down to the Yamaha dealer to get you a new one. Just like up here at the thermostat, I know you can't see it, but I'll show you real quick. The thermostat right here, when you're tightening these bolts down, there was one time years ago, I tightened it so tight it cracked it right there. Now, I mean, if you, if you got the tools and you can use a torque wrench, you know, you can look online the specs. But what I do is, is I'm tightening it down. I kind of just tighten it to a hand specification. 
you know, I'm just going to barely use my fingers. I'm not going to grab it. And, but what I'm going to do is just tighten it like that, and that's the human torque. <laughs> so that feels like it's tight enough right there. Just a little bit, just like my spark plugs. I don't crank them down in there. I've never had a problem with them coming out. So, again, the next one we're going to do the same thing. And uh, i got two left here. And I'll finish this up, and we're good to go. Now I figured I'd show you one more time. If you take that out and that head breaks off, this is really easy to do. Back this screw out a little bit, maybe three or four turns right to about three or four turns right to about there, and just tap that a few times. Back the screw out a couple more times. If I can keep it on camera, hard to see it. Tap that a few more, and then you can see it's coming out right there. So that should there you go. Just a quick little tip there. Let me get these last two in, and we're done. Okay, one more time, a little bit of marine grease on there. This is the one I just popped out that head on. Flat part down, just slide it down into there. When it goes up into here, if you have to, you can take the plug wire off, it should be okay. I'm just gonna push that in there, get it lined up pretty good, and just kind of push it. If you have to, you can use the tip of your screwdriver or the handle of your screwdriver, push it in there. You know, give it a good push. You know, just don't push too hard. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to break it. Then, cover, 10 millimeter, put a little bit of marine grease on there. Nagle that down in there, so it's right there, I can feel it. And I come up here, hold that, grab that, it's going to be hard to see it. I mean, Get it going. Once it's going, I'm just going to spin that up to there. Let it kind of hold. Hold that piece on there. Just spin it a couple times. Oh, moved it a little. There we go. There we go. It's going in, going in. Sorry, I'm trying to keep that plug out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. This is very easy to do. Like I said, it'll save you probably a hundred dollars in labor now there are things that you're gonna to have to take to a mechanic don't be afraid to don't you know when it comes time to doing some major stuff I take it to them too especially when it's you need computers run on it and all that but this basic stuff is pretty easy so well that's basically it I'm gonna get this last one in there's no sense in showing you that it's the same process like I said just when you do it make sure all your plug wires go back in if you've removed any of them worst case scenario I'll give you this tip again Get you a video camera, record what you're doing. If you get back and did something wrong, go back and watch the video and you can see where your mistake's at. So again, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters. And this is how you change your sacrifice, uh, sacrificial internal anodes on an outboard engine. And I want everybody to have a great day. Thank you.